when I'm uploading new videos to YouTube, there is a checklist of things that I go through and tags is one of them. Hey there, I'm Tracy Rose and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to do tags properly. What are some of the mistakes that people make when they're doing tags and actually is tags even really necessary? And I'll even explain to you what they are because a lot of people think they are like Instagram hashtags and they're not quite. They're a little bit different but I will explain everything. I will also show you some real live examples of me uploading some videos and doing the tags to them to make them optimise so that more people find them, they rank higher and more people watch them. Now why would you actually listen to me on this topic? Well, many years ago when I first started YouTube, I got a million views really, really quickly and it was because I was doing all the right things. I'd really learned from a YouTube master, which was incredible, but then later on in my online career, I got a bit lazy. <laughs> And I started doing videos and I just kind of did videos on what I felt like and I didn't really bother doing all the tagging or anything else that you're supposed to do when you're uploading a new video to get it seen by people. And guess what? Those videos, instead of getting hundreds of thousands of views per video, I was getting next to no views because I had changed tag and I was being super lazy and so now I know this stuff is actually important. I know YouTube stuff like SEO and tagging and all that sort of thing can seem kind of daunting, but I want you to remember that tags are your friends. Yep. YouTube tags are your friends. They're going to help your video get in front of your ideal client, the person who wants to view your video. You're going to be able to rank your videos higher in the search terms for YouTube and your videos are going to get suggested getting you more views on your video by the right people too. So first of all, what are YouTube tags? These are often known as video tags. And they're words, individual words, or little phrases that you enter into a section on YouTube when you're uploading your video, or you can actually go back and fix other videos later on if you've realized, oh my gosh, I've done all this work and I never did this, and you can actually go back and fix videos later on, but do it now when you're uploading a new video. Because this is the thing that the YouTube algorithm uses to decide whether your content goes to the right people or not. It's going to use these tags to decide, is it gonna rank your videos higher for certain search terms. If you're putting in the wrong tags, or you're putting in no tags, YouTube doesn't know what to do with your videos. So remember, YouTube tags are your friend and it now should be part of your YouTube upload checklist. I do actually have a checklist, a step-by-step -step sort of system that I do when I'm uploading new videos. So I'll pop that in the description below. You can go and have a look at that after this video. So how do you decide on a tag or a keyword for your video? Well, it's really Really funny when I start teaching people how to do videos and YouTube for their business I start with the research and tags before I even start record on my camera so right now I've already decided on a keyword for this video this video that you're watching right now I've already decided on a keyword phrase and the tags that I'm going to use to potentially rank this video higher or get it into the suggested videos whereas most people kind of come up with the topic then they record and then they kind of figure out all that stuff on the back end. In fact, that's kind of the other way around. I work from the research angle first and then you know which videos to do and which are most important to do first. So let me give you an example, okay? So when I first started YouTube, I was actually teaching a baby and birthing course, okay? So the topics that I were talking about were pregnancy and birth and babies and specifically was a topic that I was talking about which was called hypnobirthing. <laughs> Stick with me here. And so what I worked out was what are people searching in YouTube and on Google about hypnobirthing. If you use a little tool called Keywords Everywhere or any other keyword research tool, you can figure out how many people are searching for the term hypnobirthing or does hypnobirthing work or hypnobirthing Sydney because that's where I live. For this specific video that you're watching now, I looked up tags and YouTube tag. I've come up with a keyword phrase, how to tag YouTube videos. So you really want to be doing videos 
that people are actually searching for because if you just do random kind of videos that people aren't searching for and then you can't relate the tag YouTube's not gonna even show it to people now there is a mistake that a lot of people make as well is that they mislead people with the wrong kinds of tags don't be trying to trick YouTube either in doing a video and then going oh I've got to now create a tag that goes with it and so trying to match a keyword to a video you've already done is a little bit harder you can do it but I suggest doing it from research first then doing the video so there's a couple of keyword tools that I use basically you can look up on YouTube or on Google so if I was to look up YouTube tags you know when it comes up suggested phrases underneath there so that's actually stuff that people are searching for and typing into Google and YouTube. So take what Google and YouTube are giving you and have a look at those keywords and see how many people are searching for those. So if I'm using the keywords everywhere tool, I can see how many people are searching for this keyword phrase per month. I also use another one, KW Finder or Keyword Finder. I'll link all my kind of keyword research things in the description below because I don't want to make this video about keyword research. This is about tags. <laughs> so basically you want to choose your one main keyword phrase or word as your first tag. Then you're going to have a look at some other tags because actually YouTube gives you about 500 characters in their tag section. It's not about trying to fill all those. It's about actually finding quality over quantity. So if my keyword phrase is how to tag YouTube videos, then you want your alternative keywords such as YouTube tagging or or tagging for YouTube or how to tag for YouTube or video YouTube tag or video tags for YouTube then the other kind of tags you want to add is your brand and channel tags so what this does is if somebody is watching another of your videos and you have tagged all your videos with your channel name or maybe even your own name if your own name is your brand then YouTube is gonna think oh that video relates to that video and so it will suggest your own videos after the videos of yours that that person has just watched. Does that make sense? Now I'll briefly just touch on those mistakes again about YouTube tags. The first mistake is that you don't do any YouTube tags and that was my mistake and I have definitely learned from that. The other mistake is actually using random keywords and tags that don't even relate to your videos. It's not like Instagram where you can just tag and hashtag random things. This is really for search function and the YouTube algorithm. Just say my cat is in this video and so I put YouTube cat and then YouTube sends it to people who would usually watch cat videos on YouTube and then they realize my cat just made a cameo that really is not what they liked. That person may even report my video or it will have a really low rate of watch time and that will definitely be bad for my channel. In fact, it'll hinder your videos rather than help them. So no misleading tags, it's not like Instagram and any poorly tagged videos you can go and fix now because you know what is the right thing to do. Now I'm going to go and physically, visually show you how to tag a video of actually using my daughter's channel which is all about slime videos <laughs> and we're working on her channel to build it totally from scratch and we're showing you what are the kinds of tags that we're using and we're getting some traction now. I'm getting her videos ranked for some certain keywords. What I'm even more excited about is getting her videos on suggested videos because that's actually where you're going to get most of your views from. Okay, here we are over on my daughter's channel, Honey Rose. She has a channel all about making slime. Let's upload the latest video that we have. Now, I've already done the keyword research. And now it's uploading. Okay, let's ask us to put in the title. So, the keyword that we're going for is Karina Garcia Slime. I've already done my research, so let's put that in. I'm just going to add a few things. Copy that. I'm going to pop that down in the description. I'll come back and fill in the description afterwards. As we go down, I'm going to upload my thumbnail. And down here are the tags. The first tag is the actual first keyword that we're going for. So you want to put in the keyword tag that you're going for first. Then we're putting in our additional or secondary keywords. As you can see, I have a little tool here which gives me some extra suggestions. 
And I'm going to go with that one in a second, but I'm going to go Karina Garcia Slime Recipe. Karina Garcia Slime Recipe. What was the other one? Karina Garcia. Thick Slime Recipe. Thick and glossy Slime. How to make slime Karina Garcia. And then of course I'm going to be putting in our own branded keywords. So honey rose. Honey rose slimes. And that's it for my tags right now. Let's click next. I will add an end screen and some cards as well. I'm just going to set to private for now because I will premiere it when I've filled in all the rest of the details. Or you can schedule it to go out at a certain date. And that's it. Now let's go have a quick look at some other videos that I have started to rank for. Okay, so I just quickly signed up because I want to show you what Honey's videos are ranking for already. This is such a new channel, but I don't want to skew any of the results by being signed in. So I quickly signed out. And just to show you, there was one here, we did the last video was called Slime Supplies Australia. And let's look up Slime Supplies Australia. And she's on the top one for that. Let's do slime supplies shopping. Oh, there we go. And these are only little keywords at this stage, but for other ones, which was of the Scoopy Slime Store. Scoopy Slime. And there she is there, number two. And you can see it's, you know, she's got a very new channel, but this is bumping her views up because I know there's a few people that search for this store because it's a famous little slime store in Sydney. And so I know that people who are looking for that slime store are going to see this video. And if we scroll down, I'm pretty sure she's got another video there. Yep, we've got a Scoopy Cloud Slime Workshop review that we did as well. Now let me go finish off this description. Okay, so I've added this. I've set it to go public and schedules it as a premiere. Now with one of the little pieces of software that I have, which is called vidIQ, it's showing me already where this is going to be ranked for this keyword. So Karina Garcia Slime is going to be ranked number 32. Now this is a bit of a harder keyword to go for. So I'm kind of okay with that because remember, even if I don't rank, I'm okay if YouTube just makes it a suggested video alongside all the other videos for Karina Garcia Slime. So it'll be interesting to see over the next couple of days, weeks, months, what and if they rank for any of these keywords as well. But again, we're building the whole channel and everything's going to be interlinked over time. Patience is key and we're kind of going for a long game some things you can go to rank really high but this one I definitely want to rank but I'm also going for a long-term game with this so I hope that makes sense also I will put a link to a lot of the resources that I use including the keyword research tools and keyword tagging tools and things like that as well in the description of this video so I hope this video has helped you learn a little bit more about how to tag YouTube videos I hope you're not overwhelmed with it at all in fact YouTube SEO sounds a little a bit complicated but once you know the steps and you go through a checklist like I've said and like I've provided in the description below it's really easy to upload your videos in a certain way the same time every time so that YouTube will love your videos more rank you higher get you into more of the suggested videos and get you more views on your videos let me know if you have any questions on this topic in the comments below and don't forget to download that checklist and I'll see you in the next video Bye.